What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Ross Review. Today I'm standing in front of a 2005 Holden Monaro and of course this one being the limited edition CV8Z model with only 1100 of these ever being produced from Holden. That's right guys, today we're standing next to the 2005 Holden Monaro CV8Z Limited Edition. And this is just such an iconic Australian car, very cool looking, and is a true Australian automotive piece of history here. Now if you're from America, you might recognize this car as the Pontiac GTO. Now from what I believe, this was one of the first cars ever to be built in Australia and imported into the US for sale. This is a very unusual car for Australia, I must say, as Ford and Holden are very renowned here in Australia for making large V8 sedans. And for Holden to make a very smallish coupe like this, I think was quite a large statement at the time. All right, guys, just starting under the bonnet here now. Now, this car has a 5.7 liter naturally aspirated V8 engine, and this from factory pumped out around 350 horsepower and 369 pound foot of torque. Now, of course, this particular one is not stock. And um, unfortunately, though, this is a traded in car that I've got from a dealer. So I'm not sure exactly what's been done to it. But from taking a look, I can tell straight away that it's been supercharged. The cams have been done. Um, this has upgraded brakes. The suspension has been lowered. And it also has a three inch dual exhaust put on this. Now, from what the dealer has told me, this should be pumping out somewhere between 700 and 800 horsepower. That's right, guys. Uh, this is absolutely insane. And um, all I'm going to do right now is just turn it on and let you see this thing rumble. I just said the back of the CV8Z here, guys. Now, like I said before, you know, you had this nice spoiler up the top here. You come down, you've got tinted taillights. So that was a special feature of the CV8Z limited edition. Um, you've got sort of this kind of plastic diffuser type thing there. And again, like we said, the dual exhaust. Obviously, this is an aftermarket exhaust. So take a listen to this. <laughs> Alright, so inside the Holden Monaro CV8Z limited edition, guys, um, like I said, the interior is very much orangey brown, sort of like the exterior. So you have this, um, you know, your leather with your orange leather sort of in the middle. Um, the seats are actually pretty comfy. Um, they're fairly supportive, but they are built for a, a larger build. Um, again, you know, like I've just said, you know, it's just basic in here. You've got some storage cubbies everywhere. Uh, but again, it's a GM car, you know, it's a bit of plastic, it's a bit of leather. It's, uh, you know, this was $60,000, I believe, when it came out. Um, and, you know, that's putting it in grass for the working man. So I've always said that about Holden's as they're sort of the working man's sports car. And uh, I actually quite like this car. It's, uh, it's very basic in here, but I like basic, minimal 
cars, it means there's more of an experience to the drive. All right, guys, so turning the key on the Holden CV8Z limited edition. <laughs> All right. So this thing is supposedly meant to be around 700 to 800 horsepower, guys. Oh my. Oh, this is a straight line car, guys. This really isn't for the windies. I kind of misread this car, <laughs> but we're in the windies anyways, and we're trying to make her work. power on tap you just pick a gear and you don't really need to change it at all because this thing just picks up so quickly wow the six-speed manual in this Monaro is absolutely so so good um, I really am under the impression that this must be modified because this is just so short. Like, I previously had uh, driven the Focus RS and that had an aftermarket Cobb short shifter installed. And this is just as short, if not shorter. And I have a really hard time believing that this is a factory gearbox because this is just you just instantly in gear and it is just so satisfying and uh, it's very tight one of the tightest gearboxes um, I I've had on the channel by far uh, there is just absolutely no play in this at all and uh, it is actually quite quite impressive <laughs> oh that is what it's all about when you got a, a big V8 there the sound that this thing makes is just immense and uh, it is this is uh, honestly one of the best sounding cars I think I've had on the channel this thing just sounds so good listen to the sound of this V8 all day. muscle car and god did they ever make this thing well because this thing is just so tight oh my god the throttle is tight the gearbox is tight holy the, the, the steering just the whole everything in this car this is a truly truly special car 
and I am just blown away right now. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! This is a roller coaster, guys, and I am just holding on. I'm shaking right now. This thing is that insane. <laughs> yeah, wow, I'm just stuck behind somebody here right now and uh, it's almost a relief, guys, I'll tell you that because this thing is a serious weapon and um, I truly truly believe that this has every last bit of seven to eight hundred horsepower um, holy crap this thing just another level guys this is on another level we're going just we're going about 25 kilometers an hour right now And I'm just going to put my foot straight on the floor. guys I'm gonna finish the video off here uh, I'm gonna try and stay alive today <laughs> um, yeah there's not much else I can really say about this car guys but what an absolute beast so again like I said this has a lot of heavily modified bits on it so I can't really compare it to a stock standard one but you get a rough idea now I'm gonna do a huge shout out to Royal Car Scenes here in Perth they have a, a really cool car scene down here. Um, they do a lot for the car community and uh, I'll leave a link for them in the description below. Um, like I said as well, this car actually is for sale from a dealership guys. So if um, you guys are interested in this car, I'll leave a link for it in the description again. Now please, if you like this video, please give it a like. Please consider subscribing if you're new here. And uh, yeah guys, we'll see you on the next video. Oh.